Hello everyone, my name is Lachara, and this is Astro Colony. A new game just came out on Early Access on Steam. This is a colony slash factory building type game, I believe. I'm going into this with not a lot of real knowledge, as you can see. I do not have a continue option here. Um, I'll proceed, let's just... Uh, you know what, let's just leave it blank. Let's just leave. No, you know what, let's put in one, two, three, four, five, six. In case anybody wants to play along with me, you can use the same seed. Goopy bobbity boo. All right. Let's see what this is all about. One to the impression it's similar to Factorio, Satisfactory, Dyson Sphere program. But who knows um, how close it really is to those games. Believing that one planet would be enough for us was wrong. Okay. Our colossal ambitions pushed us to leave our homes. Driven by the need of development and achievements, humanity seeks opportunities to discover new worlds and perhaps new dimensions. Ooh, new dimensions. We are the first colonists, laying the foundation for future generations. Well, we're getting like hazard pay for it's this. It's your turn now. Show your survival skills, unlock technologies, and remember, the galaxy is yours to conquer. All right, squad, let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get her done. All right, so this is an asteroid hitting our platform. I am not moving right now, okay? Still tutorial, all right. Okay, so the ship just left us here on this platform with like no shelter or anything. Right, welcome colonizer, I am a bot and I've been programmed to guide you in your learning. Follow my advice and start creating your own astro colony. All right, next, use WSD to move, space to jump. With multiple jumps, you reach higher places. To toggle jetpack, press X. You will keep you in midair. Control the height with space and or alt. Okay, X for jetpack. When you need tips, check the guidebook. Opening it using mouse tab or hotkey G. Okay. You want me to do that now? Guidebook, okay. To expand your space station, you'll need to collect some basic resources. Look around the station to find floating asteroids. Yep, they are everywhere. Ha ha. Oh, I'm, oh, I tried to mine it before it hit my. Did I get anything out of that before it hit? Okay, anyway. Um, look around. You will need iron and copper. Okay, so. You get out of this. Well, if you look on the right, it looks like this gives us gold. And copper, yeah. All right, so let's hit X. Okay, so the jetpack, you know, you just kind of hover. Okay, so we need some iron. This looks like more copper. Let's grab that, I guess. I never have too much copper. And it looks like I'm getting basic science as well, which I'm not sure exactly how that works. Okay, everything is just copper. It's too far away to see what's in it. Well, let's see if we can find like a different color asteroid. That looks like ice, maybe? Is there a way to go down? Like, space makes us go up. What if I take the jetpack off? Do we fall? Yep, we sure do. Okay. <laughs> I assume there's a different way to like descend. This is probably carbon. I assume, yeah, which I'm not sure what that's used for, but I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's useful. So let's go ahead and grab some of that. Um, I'm gonna assume these are iron, yeah. Don't hit, don't hit, um, you know, did not get any iron out of those. It's gotta be a better way to go down than turning it off. Right? You would think, <laughs> logically. But who knows, maybe it's not. All right, so I need two more iron ore. So I'm gonna need one more asteroid with iron. Probably this one right here. Good. Oh, seven iron in this one. This one's like the big iron, mother load. All right, let's get this. Okay, so now it wants us to craft iron bars and craft a copper bar. All right, so how do I do that? 
Q. Uh, Q switches what weapon I'm holding. K is for construction. Mining. No, that's like mining stuff. Oh, there's a whole bunch of things here. Pickaxe, inventory. Inventory, maybe? Iron ore. Okay, iron bar hand. Yes, and copper bar hand. So it's okay. So we're making those bars by hand. Perfect. If I close this, we'll keep making them. Check oxygen meter. My oxygen is in the bottom left there. Looks fine. Oh, A bot. Where are you, man? Hey, bot, you're struggling. <laughs> this is an early access. Uh, now let's deal with the basic need of breathing. You may have noticed your oxygen level dropped slightly during the first task. It looks like it's still full. But I can't really tell. Like, I'm assuming the chunks on the outside are the meter. Check oxygen meter in the bottom left corner. I mean, everything looks fine down there, but I don't know. Level reaches zero. Okay, so we are good, it looks like. Your body will get injured and will result causing death. That seems bad. It is very, therefore extremely important to refill the oxygen as soon as possible. As often as possible. Using ice inside oxygen generator is the quickest way to refill it. To build your first oxygen generator, you have to discover your first technology. Make sure you collect enough science points by exact extracting asteroids. When you have at least two points, go to the tech screen with T and unlock your first technology. Oxygen. Beautiful. All right, so how many points do we have? Nine. Can we also get electricity? That costs three. Wire costs two. Water costs two. All right, so we did that whole, and I hope I didn't break the tutorial by grabbing all that stuff. We've newly discovered water technology. You can start collecting water. Build icebreaker to process ice. Okay, so yeah, I'm, I got ahead of myself. So F1. Okay, maybe take off that. Okay. How do we build? Okay, to build. Utilities. Carbon reactor. Icebreaker. No, farming. Device. Oxygen generator. There we go. Okay, so it inputs, or er, electricity input and water Output or input, probably input because this is an oxygen generator, right? Put it there. Okay. We need to extract some ice. Okay, so how do I how do I stop? Rotate with R. Okay, that's fine. How do I stop building. Q. Okay, Q stopped building. Okay, so we need we need to extract some ice. Ice zone. That's me making an assumption. <laughs> but I probably need to power it as well, right? Okay, so we extracted ice. I'm just looking at the little bar there on the left, right? There's got to be a way to get down. Okay, alt. Holding alt descends. Okay, um, all right, so how do we build utilities, power, carbon reactor, provides electricity to other machines? All right, so electricity outputs on that side. Put that there, right? And then we need wire. How do we make wire? Electric cable, uh, inventory, copper wire hand. Okay, that appears to be what we need to do. I might need to go mine some more copper though, possibly. All right, so three, two, three. Okay, we had enough wire. Surprised. I thought I only made three, but apparently that was enough. All right, so how do we put? E, 
we put carbon in. As we put production, how does how do we make this work here? Okay, so carbon ore, right? There's inventory. We got carbon ore. Okay. Closet items. Okay, so how do we turn this on? Okay. Oh, is, is it on? Is it working? Maybe. <laughs> Use ice to refill oxygen. Okay, so we. Okay, so yeah, I kind of got ahead. I got ahead of the tutorial. Learn about electricity. All right, how do I learn about electricity? Where's Abot at now? <laughs> Abot, where did you go? Oh, is he? Um, <laughs> want to come out from under there, man? Please. Um. Okay. Uh, do I need? Hmm. I already learned about electricity, though. I think I ruined it. I think. I... <laughs> um. I might have screwed up the tutorial by grabbing all these tasks ahead of the points. Um. Yeah, I think this only needs electricity if you're turning it into water. Which I just used it to turn it into oxygen. Electricity is the heart of many devices. They work as long as there's enough electricity for them in the network. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, so next. Electricity is at the heart of many devices. They work, okay. If they cannot produce or consume, they signalize problems with the symbol, okay. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we didn't we didn't actually rack it. To activate carbon reactor, press modify E and put inside carbon through deposit items menu. Okay. I did that already. Alright, so let's take it out and put it back. Okay. I did that though. Already. It's not. Yeah, maybe I did break it. <laughs> it's not letting me click to the next one. All right, maybe if I go find some new carbon, it'll let me put some in. Don't worry to go. I was inside the asteroid. No worries. That's totally not a big deal. But you don't. If you've never been inside an asteroid, are you really even living? Like, honestly. All right, what if I put... So we open this. Put the carbon in. Oh, this thing being down here is kind of funny. All right, so... Get it up and running, it says, so. So how do I get it up and running? <laughs> no recipe, electricity, okay. Okay, get it up and running, all right. Handcraft copper wire, I already did that. Oh, I got ahead of, I got ahead of it. I just, you know, when you've done enough of these tutorials, or these games, you, you feel you know what's going to happen. You kind of just start doing it. And then what happens? <laughs> you break the tutorial, kind of. All right, copper, copper. You look like you have, I keep hitting shift to go faster, but clearly that does work. Just not yet, because the pop-up says missing booster technology. Oh, it gave me credit for handcrafting the copper. Never mind. Construct an icebreaker. Let's break the ice, folks. Let's 
break the ice. Um, icebreaker, icebreaker. So that would be that's eight on the old hop bar. We need oh, I need a bunch of iron for that. So, are you iron? No, you're ice. What's that over there? I gotta go see what this is. This is like a a planetoid, apparently. It says over on the right side of the screen. Interesting. With mineable carbon deposits. Okay. I wonder if I can like, I'm just thinking back to the title screen and it looked like either I can move this over to here and then you build on this or I somehow pull that to that. I'm just not sure which one is movable. All right, so we need iron. I think we got some iron down here. It's a carbon, but I mean, I have lots of carbon, I think. I mean, who knows? But eventually all this gets automated, right? But we're just kind of going through the, the handcrafting phase that I don't like coming at them from below, I'll be honest. Um, you know, all games in this, uh, this genre have this, this phase. Doing things by hand that you do not do by hand later in the game. And that's fine. Part of the appeal, right? You don't appreciate automation until you've had to do it by hand. You could, you could make that argument anyway. I guess I just kind of did make the argument. I do not appear to be getting science anymore, though. There must be a cap of how much science you can get just from asteroids. Or maybe I got to spend some. Never mind, I just got some science. <laughs> but it's definitely coming way less often than it was, right? Or it seems that way, but... No, it's definitely coming way less often. I'm pretty confident that's correct. All right, where's my base thing? Over here. We need to make some... Ooh, can I do that here? Can I start the iron bars? No. I need to be on land. Well, not land. I need to be not hovering. I would say. Are we not? Oh no, it was going the whole time. Never mind. So I got to take some of these out. So basically all my copper has been turned into wire. All my iron has been turned into bars because I have these on still. I should probably take those off. All right, so. Icebreaker. Wait. I still can't make them. Make it. What kind of bars are those? Is there like steel bars? Hmm. Confused. What do you have to say here? Build an icebreaker to process ice kale. Okay, well, I'm trying. Can I make like steel? Right, because that's the logical thing. Usually steel is the next step step up, right? Iron plate. That's not what that wanted. Like if you look here, it does look like steel. Well, that's copper? Well, that's copper. All right. So unfortunately, I had a lot of copper, but it all it all got turned into um it all got turned into wire. I'm going to have to go harvest some more copper. And that's fine. That's not the end of the world. We're learning. We're learning. Learn from my mistakes, folks. That's the Lucera <laughs> motto. And hey, if you're enjoying this video, if you want to see this turned into a long series, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. It helps me out a lot as a small YouTuber. You're just going to hit the thing and destroy yourself. Yeah. What about you? Oh, I don't want carbon. I want copper. Yeah, it's a bit... I don't like coming at them from below. Alright, so how much copper do I have now? Three. Alright, so I need a bit more. Um, you look like you have copper. Three copper. That's eh, enough. A lot of 
carbon carbon sign. I'm assuming, you know, oh, went down when I went to up. I'm assuming carbon's type thing where you can never have too much of it, right? I know that's usually how it goes in these types of games. But I should probably be making less comparisons to other games in the genre. That's not fair to this game, right? Right, so it needs power. Already, I hate the way I have this set up. <laughs> so what's the input? Ice, I guess. Obviously. It puts water. Put it here. Assuming I can pick this stuff up eventually. Alright, so now let's run some more cabling. Oh, uh, it's not pretty, <laughs> but it works. Select 10 water. So I need to put ice in. Select water. Yeah, okay, so it's making water. Where does the water go, though, right? Because I don't have an, an output hooked up to it. I'm, I don't appear to be... Like, it's turning it into water. Oh, container to store water. Maybe I should build the thing that says container to store water. That might be smart. Work five. Okay, okay, collect ten what I was gonna say that like the tutorial is not advancing, but it did. Alright, so where is the little bot dude at now? <laughs> where did they get to now? Oh, he's still down here. The character died. What? Did I, have I, did I, was I ignoring my oxygen meter? Is that what happened there? Is it, is there auto saves? Yeah, it's not a save two minutes ago. Oh yeah, my oxygen is flashing. <laughs> my oxygen is definitely flashing. All right, let's get this icebreaker down like we did. But let's let's um use ice to refill oxygen. Okay, so how much does that actually give me? Oh, I see it now. Okay, so I think the circle is your health. And the oxygen meter is actually the vertical or sorry, the horizontal bar. Okay. So I was not respecting my oxygen level. I deserve to die there. I am okay with what happened. I deserve that. All right, so, and then we go put the ice catcher thing. All right, now we need a bunch more ice because I need, my oxygen is not full right now either. Right? Ice, ice, baby. Looks like ice. I mean, I got an up. I'm, I'm not dying. Yeah, no, that's. I mean, I, I have nobody to blame but myself. But I miss, I misinterpreted the, the oxygen meter. Right, what I thought was the oxygen was actually my life. And I, I, look, I, I'm not sure. I'm willing to take the vast majority of the blame for that. I'm sure I could put some of the blame on the tutorial but I'm gonna say that was almost purely my fault <laughs> so we already had the you know save scum but it's fine okay I can't I'm looking forward to getting this automated because as it is like just to get my oxygen back to full I'm gonna have to do nothing but harvest ice for a while it feels like anyway right doesn't it? But water, because water isn't oxygen either, right? Like, I mean, I'm sure water is useful. Don't get me wrong. But water is not oxygen. 
oxygen. Yeah, I'm getting low again. All right, but we'll go back and... Oh, there's five ice in this one. That's good. We will go back and... Uh, do this. Do the thing. Fill the oxygen meter and then collect our 10 water, hopefully. Boom. Got to use ice to refill oxygen. Got to put some in, though, right? We split a stack. Yes. Split. So we'll put this 12 in. There we go. Oxygen is completely full. And then we will put shift to split a stack, by the way. Just put two in here. I believe that makes 10 water, which is what the tutorial wants me to do. And since I don't know what water is used for yet, I want to save my ice. <laughs> or, um, oh, I just realized in the top left of the screen shows you it. Yeah, I've done a poor job of figuring out what's going on in this game. Okay, collect 10 water complete. Oh, hey, you're back above the surface. Bravo, you've learned a lot here. Now, progress and colony development. That will have to wait for episode two. Like I said, let me know in the comments if you want to see lots of episodes for this. Make sure to hit that like button. Share it around to all your friends. Most importantly, be good to each other. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.